Extinguish Ego with Mindfulness Vipassana meditation is an exercise in mindfulness, egoless awareness. It is a process in which the ego is eradicated by the penetrating gaze of mindfulness. This is vipassana, namely insight meditation. Of course, it's based on concentration. The practitioner begins this process with the ego in full command of body and mind. In reality, body and mind are not controlled by ego. Ego is nothing but a wrong attachment Body and mind are controlled by karma. Of course, due to ego, many corresponding afflictions will arise. Then, as mindfulness watches the ego function, it penetrates to the roots of the mechanics of ego and extinguishes ego piece by piece. Here it says clearly that Mindfulness extinguishes ego. Yesterday, we've talked about this attitude, objective attitude. For example, when a scientist observes the nature, the animal world, and other beings, when a doctor observes a human body and patient's physiological phenomena, they tend to be pretty objective. Because these things have nothing to do with the observer, so he will be objective. If you are a scientist and the observed object is your son or wife, then you will no longer be the same. Your attitude will be mixed with emotions. If you find your son fall down or encounter something, you will immediately throw away your instrument and run into him. At that time, you will no longer observe objectively because you regard the object as mine, my son or my family. If the observed object is yourself and that shot is taken by someone else, then your feeling will be more different. Have you ever watched your own video? Which one of you has watched? I mean, to watch your video taken by someone else. What kind of status are you in while watching your own video? It should be pretty interesting. Will you be objective? When watching your own video taken by someone else, you'll start to agitate instantly and various emotions will arise. If you are an actor, when you watch your show as an audience, if your performance is good, you will feel happy, complacent and proud. If your performance is bad, you will feel uncomfortable and awkward. Anyway, upon watching those scenes acted by yourself, you will have a complicated feeling and get caught up in the scenes. This is ordinary people. Now we need to be objective. We should observe ourselves like a scientist Observe the changes of the five aggregates of body and mind objectively. So what should we do? The only way to eradicate ego grasping. After you've eradicated ego grasping, your awareness will be free from ego grasping, but with equanimity. The awareness is still there. Without ego grasping, the awareness is not gone, but it is free from ego grasping and emotion. Observe your body and mind 
especially the various changes in your mind in this way. Observe your feelings, the aggregates of your feelings, perceptions, especially the aggregate of mental formations. The aggregate of mental formations means going to commit a karmic act, greed, hatred and ignorance is arising. The aggregate of mental formations represents greed, hatred and ignorance. The aggregates of feelings and perceptions are objects of greed, hatred and ignorance. Vipassana talks about feelings toward which we tend to generate desire or rejection. Actually, the aggregate of perceptions is also an object of greed and hatred. You can check by yourselves. Among the mental factors, why only the aggregates of feelings and perceptions are listed? This does make sense. Because the aggregates of feelings and perceptions are objects of our greed and hatred. So, among the various mental factors, only these two are listed. The aggregate of perceptions are the various states toward which we tend to cling or hate. This object will make you generate new feelings too. When you see the object, new feelings will arise in your body, which is surely connected with feelings, acceptance. Because when you see the aggregate of perceptions arising, new feeling and new physical sensation will arise too. Therefore, these two mental factors are objects of greed and hatred. Now, we should learn to eradicate ego grasping. Only after you have eradicated ego grasping will your awareness and the so-called equanimity truly arise. And then you can observe the five aggregates of your own and your connections, your sons or your parents, truly objectively. When we ordinary people see our parents, we tend to have emotions immediately. You will have attachment and can no longer be objective and calm down. Isn't that so? Therefore, sometimes practitioners need to be heartless, otherwise it won't work. Ordinary people, including many Confucians, can't accept the state of being heartless. You need to get rid of emotional attachments, otherwise you can't transcend samsara. However, Meanwhile, we need to cultivate compassion which is accepted by them. Ordinary people are not aware of your compassion. They think you have emotional attachment on them, so they are happy and willing to accept. The so-called great love is different from their love. It is free from emotion. It is unconditional giving, without expecting anything in return. Therefore, egoless compassion is true compassion. Without egoless wisdom, the so-called compassion would be merely worldly emotions and affections. Due to ego, it is definitely egocentric emotions and affections. Without eradicating ego grasping, you can't get out of egocentricity. Occasionally, you might be hit by an egoless feeling which feels so good. The egoless feeling leads you out of egocentricity. And then, when you observe the operation, changes and sufferings of this body and mind, you will be very happy. 
Previously, you regarded the self as the sufferer and felt bad. Now, you find that the sufferer is not me, not my fault. Meditate in this way. It is done by karma, not me. Then your attitude will change right away. From now on, you can always blame it on karma. Whatever you commit, it is not done by me, but by karma. Whenever you do something wrong, meditate in this way and you won't feel bad. When you feel bad, be mindful. It's not me who feels bad, but karma. It reaps what it sows. It's none of my business. After you've reached egoless, your awareness is still there for sure. Keep aware, keep equal awareness, and don't be trapped in ego. Then you won't feel bad and wear a sad face, because everything is done by karma. Now we are going to fight with karma and eliminate it. Originally, karma and ego grasping were not there. Self was not there. So who did this bad thing? It was done by ignorance. Now you can blame it on ignorance. Anyway, it was done by either ignorance or karma, but none of my business. The mind is keeping awareness and equanimity. At that time, the enlightened mind is independent, which won't be afraid of afflictions or ignorance anymore. Actually, it's not that hard to extinguish ego grasping. You just need to be mindful. As you are mindful, you will gradually enter the state of similar egoless. Then gradually, more and more close to the egoless state, and slowly you will get the egoless feeling. One day, you might have really enlightened egoless, at that time, it will be easy. Therefore, from now on, you no longer need to wear a sad face because all the bad things are done by ignorance and karma anyway.